I'm Six Xavier, and welcome to who even knows what's happening anymore in this land. Uh, I will say this, though. Uh, the new... Hold on, let's rename our new character, Cheetah. I did import her priorities already in Clone Dorover. She's kind of like a cook, but mostly also a third cleaner. I want to stay on top of cleaning, like really, really, really on top of it. Uh, but this new Cheetah is going to be... Is she missing two eyes? Left second toe cut off, right little toe cut off. No, it just looks like that up here on the top, right? That rib shattered. She looks a little bit uh, beaten up, but you know what? It'll be fine. Let's rename this to the new Jaina. Oh, wonderful. I'm getting towards the end of my Patreon list of names, which is awesome, because it's been high time to reformat all of that and uh, make it a lot better of a list, as it were, because it's kind of a disorganized mess. Uh, in any event, here's the plan for this episode. I went through and fixed that priority. Uh, and then, oh yeah, I also copied some of these things in. So I think I have these this set up here. Uh, yes, I do. So this should be like stews and meats and stuff or whatever, like the regular, the regular meals. I don't know how long it's going to be until I make more storage pots. We'll see about that in the near future. I was thinking of actually using some slate blocks to make some slate ovens rather than these adobe ones or whatever. You can actually reinstall these. Interesting. So I could move them around and make some, like, slate ones down here. Or move those there and make some new slate ones up there. You know what? I actually think I will do that. Let's come down here and cancel this one. We'll grab that one. No, no, don't build a copy of it. Cancel that one. Great. Let's grab this one. We'll reinstall it right up over there. And we'll grab this one right here and reinstall it down over here. Just like such. Uh, then I'm going to grab this one and actually cancel it. And this one here and also cancel that one as well. And then I can make some, what are these? Medieval, stone hearth, granite? No, slate. Because uh, we're not going to use slate so much anymore. Let's put slate here, slate there. Now that we got most of the roads done, I think we just have a, a whole bunch of extra slate we don't need. Cool. And then these ones already were made. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I think, you know what, I want a slate one in here. Let's cancel that as well. Uh, grab one of these, build a copy of it. Oh, voila! Now, hopefully someone gets into moving these things over. Who's on a mental break now? Alma? Well, speaking of mental breaks, there was... Alma, please don't freaking beat your hand into the ground. I don't need anyone else with, like, no more hands. Please. Yeah, you're, you're doing okay so far. Good. I'm glad you actually dropped your... Speaking of weapon. Speaking of weapon, uh, actually, someone was telling me the thrombo horn. I thought a long time ago you had to make these into weapons, but you don't. You can literally just equip them as weapons. So why don't we give one to Tremaine? He could definitely equip that, like, as his primary weapon. That seems like an incredible thing. I had no idea you could just literally use them straight up. 15 damage every 1.85 seconds is insanity. Uh, we just dropped this exceptional or excellent Steel Gladius. With this, he was getting 13 every 1.95, which is actually pretty good. Uh, surprisingly higher than I thought it would be. Why is this, r r like, labeled as art? Manic Mosquito? Good for stabbing or slashing. An engraving on this weapon represents a stream. A thief poses near the edge of the image while the work is executed in a neoclassical style. That's actually really cool. I had no idea that was even a thing that happened, but apparently it does. Apparently it does. Uh, speaking of Tremaine, what are you doing, friend? You're going down here to consume a week's stew. All right. I guess you can... Well, don't consume a week's stew in Jaina's room. That's just so rude. It's just so rude, Tremaine. You don't really need to build a, a thing. Can we come over here and actually prioritize installing these things, Tremaine? Like right here. Prioritize working on Stoneheart. Just bring it in there. Get it in. Fantastic. You know what? Come down here to work on this one as well. This way I can clone these over and I don't have to, like, think about it or worry about it anymore. Okay, whoa, it's super laggy all of a sudden. Let's click this in. Someone was recently telling me to run runtime GC again. Let's do it. I uh, just clean it up. Active pond. I don't know what this really means, but I know you have to run it basically twice. And then things are better. And then clean up debug only. I don't know what that means. Uh, clean up avoid grids. Let's do both. Recommended. Additional cleanup. Uh, animal, family, whatever this is. Sure. Let's fix relationships, fix leaders, and reclaim memory. Bam. Done with what, whatever all that stuff is. Oh, yeah, see, I'm getting that la that weird lag again is showing up. It's like, click, 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 click. And now it's gone for whatever reason. What the heck is causing that? There's no, there's no like, colony here to, or um, trading caravan here this time, so I don't know. Shaheem seems to be busy making a whole lot of stone hearts, which, honestly, I'm very worried about the winter because even though there's a... Oh, wait, no, the heat wave's gone. Now that I've just blew, like, 500 wood on all these things, right? Let's actually deconstruct these to get some wood out of them while we have the opportunity here. All of the coolers, great. Deconstruct. I think that's pretty much all of them. Uh, yeah, I'm really worried about the winter staying warm because we don't have any wood whatsoever. And 
God, we're gonna, we have so much more work to do before. I mean, we only have a few more days before it's winter. I'm going to need tons of food. I'm going to need tons of uh, wood to chop on stuff. I need to put some walls up and get some legitimate rooms where people start flipping out about all that nonsense. There's just a lot of stuff to do right now. And I think the smartest thing to do is just let everyone do the stuff they're doing. Oh, here's one thing I wanted to focus on, though. So Ellis has a massively high mental break threshold. I think I can counteract a decent amount. Wow, she has ex extreme anxiety on top of all of that. Mental break threshold plus 12 on top of the fact that she also has uh, very neurotic mental break plus 14. That is insanity. I wonder why she's going crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, what I can do for this, though, is make sure that her room is prioritized for getting all the stuff and just looks really awesome. It does, in fact, this is like the best room I have. So it looks kind of decent. You know what? Let's come in here and go for the more floors. Where is the, what kind of floor is this? Wide wooden floorboards. Let's let's just make sure her room is completely perfect. Awesome. And then why don't we actually give her a couple more of these uh, plants here? Nope. I want to grab that. Build a copy of them on either side of the bed. I want her to have the best bed, the best room in the entire universe. Let's actually find ooh, superior beds right here. You know what? Let's grab this bed and let's actually re or just kind of yeah. Let's reinstall it out there for now. Let's grab with these superior beds. If I could get someone over here, Jaina's working on that. That's awesome. Jaina, while you're here, could you please just come in here, prioritize working on that? Awesome. Let's grab this superior bed and reinstall it here for Ellis. Awesome. Uh, once again, Jaina, if you'd be so kind as to prioritize working on that. And then lastly, we'll grab this one and reinstall it right back over there. Fantastic. And this is going to be for Ellis. Let's do everything we can to accommodate her handicap, which is like extreme mental break issues. Uh, also, Jaina, did you run off? You did. You're getting steel everywhere. That's probably a good idea. But first, just work on this bed so I don't have to forget about it. Great. Put that in. Done. Awesome. Awesome McPossum, friends. Awesome McPossum. We're getting all sorts of things put in. Steel's getting utilized. Speaking of steel, I want to need a lot more of that. Um, I don't know. I'll worry about it in a future, a future capacity. For now... All I really want to do is make sure everyone's doing harvesting. And indeed, Nisus out here sowing our last rice field. If we can get one decent harvest out of this, I'll be happy. Wait a minute. First of Drugus. Oh, I thought the summer. I thought the summer was over. We still have the whole summer. This is nowhere near as important as I thought it was. Okay. That makes a ton of sense then. An absolute ton of sense. So I have plenty of time then. I should have just stuck with the corn, and I can turn this sowing back on. We can actually manage to get that harvested, I believe. Uh, with that being the case, I should probably at least do one of these things on the psychoid leaf. I know we just, like, planted this rice, but let's switch that over to psychoid leaves. Let's grab this one here. If I can figure out how to grab it, great. And let's put this one on heel root. Awesome. I know it's just plant. I don't want to re redo this one. We'll just switch them around a little bit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Lots of work there. Things are coming in. I love this. The rebuilding all around the town. Dot's working on stuff down here, sewing the area. Constantine's sewing the area. Server Cat's out here already working on it. Uh, Shaheem's out here putting in, like, walls and stuff. Jane is putting in, like, braziers and such. Biggles is tending to Ulma. That's fantastic. We're going to have some, like, herbal meds not too long from now. Oh, so many bruises. Poor Ulma. How the hell is she managing to, to cope with all of this nonsense? I have no idea. It's honestly really bad. Really bad. This poor floor, though. All these floors. Jermaine's fixing up all the walls, which is great. We're getting somewhere. We're actually... I'm so happy. When I started this episode, I was like, how that? I got six days to grow some rice or whatever. But I actually have a fairly decent amount of time. I'm still seeing that lag. It's like, chop, chop. I wonder if I need to close the game and restart. I don't really want to do it. But then again, I just started the episode, so maybe I will. Um... It might make all the difference, or no, I don't think it will because the last time it happens, it was actually like during a raid or whatever, and I had just opened the episode anyway, or just opened the game anyway. Look at Oznot going to town here, just like cleaning up all the streets. That is such a nice sight to behold. All right, this lag is, it's unacceptable. I want to try to like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. What kind of meals do we have right now? We actually have literally no meals. <gasps> That's right, because I don't have any... I don't have any... Let's, let's haul this rice on urgent. We have no vegetables down here. None. Whatsoever. Okay. That's a concern. Let's get all this stuff hauled down here. Great. Clean up everything. Fantastic. Get the rice in. 
Then we'll dot. We'll start making some meals. Great. We're gonna have to start hunting some stuff and start uh, getting a lot of the jerked meats for the winter. I wonder if I should. Oh, hey, there's a there's a raccoon. Speaking of hunting, you know what? Maybe it is time. Nah. Well, I do have all the fields sown. Almost. We're redoing this one, and we have to redo that one in a second. But then we'll be good. I kind of want a lot more hops here for the alcohol, but I'm not sure what I would cut into. I'm really worried about not having a big enough stockpile for the winter. We do have a ton of rice, though, which is kind of asinine. And this rice is pretty, uh, it's almost 80% ground. Maybe I'll switch this over to heel root, so we have a huge stockpile for the winter. Uh, all of these deers, though, you know what? We can probably hunt at the very least all of those things. Great, hunt them up. Oh, there we go. We're getting some hearty stews now. No, it's, I don't know what we're making those out of, but... God, when are we ever going to get all these benches put in so these arrows can get out of the way? I miss all the lights, but everything was lit up and warm and comfortable and awesome looking. Whoa, Jane is cleaning up here. It looks like most of our walls got repaired, but not quite all of them. Just still just two more right here. And then up here, how about these walls? We got one, two, like three. Yeah, there's like 15 or so walls to take care of. But moods are as good as I think I could possibly expect them to be, given that everyone's sleeping in one giant barrack here. And you know what I could also do, just now realizing? I could put the floors in here again. What were these floors? I kind of forget. It looks like I did... These were wooden floorboards. Did I do one giant thing in the middle, or did I have... I don't even remember. I honestly don't even remember what I did here. So this was wooden... Wooden wall. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is uh, wooden floorboards. This is mosaic. And this was light wood floor. So I'm pretty sure what I did here was wooden floorboards around the outside. Right? Something like that all the way around. That seems right. Right? And also in there. Yep. And then I'm sure I did the light wood floor as a thing all the way around. I remember this very specifically. But I, did I do everything in the middle? It looks like I did have everything in the middle be the mosaic. So let's grab all the mosaics. We'll put that in. I mean, if everyone's going to be sleeping in here, let's at least try to make it look nice for them, right? Oh, look. Jane is in here. What is she doing? Removing the floor. Oh. She's removing... Ah, so the burnt floor is negative six. Whereas... Oh, whoopsie days. I, I wonder how many people have been yelling at me about that for how many episodes. Unfortunately, like I said before... I have to record way ahead to get around this stupid YouTube, like, flagging issue, so... Uh, issues like this are just gonna be kind of annoying for everybody, really. Yeah, especially me, because I have to... ...deal with living the- uh, running the colony while it's a complete disastrous mess. Alright, well, there. Let's get, uh, everything out of here. I'm not even sure what I had in here. Just get it all out. Great. Um, you know what? I feel like I'm not going to waste the time to do this. I'll just I'll just build over all this stuff in the future. You won't worry about it for now. We'll build over it once we get the wood. When will we get the wood? Very good question. Drigri's out here hunting a bunch of, what are these, deer? Yep, there's only a few of them, though. Three people hunting. Jane is cleaning. Biggles looks like she's cooking, which is fantastic. Here comes the floor getting taken out by Tremaine. Awesome. We're going to get 17 week stews now. Absolutely no more vegetables though after this, but luckily there is some meat, so hopefully that gets put in. Uh, Tremaine, what are you doing? You're repairing the walls, very important stuff here. Alma's doing happy fun times, relaxing socially out in like the stockpile for no reason. Kind of a weird place for Alma to be, but whatever. You can relax socially wherever you want, Alma. Wherever you want, as long as you don't punch your fists into oblivion. That's all I really care about. Drigri, what are you up to? Sewing an area. When are these guys going to start harvesting the crops? Did I mess this crop up a long time ago? It's not plant cutting, it's growing. It's on a four. I believe, yeah. Harvest and harvest is on a four. And of course, we have hunting and cooking and all kinds of other stuff going on. I think I just need to give it a little bit of time and they'll get to it. There's so many things to catch up on. And I also just like uh, queued up all those like removed floors as well. And we're, we're still re-sowing this. And I'm pretty sure another thing I did was sow all this. Yep, we got corn in there. Awesome. Hitomi. Who the heck is Hitomi? Oh, the alpaca, okay. Tomi appears to be pregnant now as well. All right. Well, outside of this, like, really annoying lag, things are moving along. Constantine and Dot are chopping down all this rice and rice. I could have waited for this, but I really want to make sure I have a lot of uh, herbal meds because we got a lot of, a lot of people. We've got a lot of animals. 
and we have absolutely nothing we need to last all the way through the winter, plus whatever other nonsense we get up to shortly thereafter with antics. Like, I may go out and raid some people because I'm so angry. Speaking of being angry, it may be time to put everybody in here in the sarcophagi. All right, let's go to miscellaneous. It's probably not, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, sarcophagus, we're going to use marble. I think that's going to look really cool. We're going to put one there, one here. Uh, you know what? For now, we'll just put one here, one there, one here, one there. Oh, my old statue got destroyed. We'll put one here and one there. Awesome. How much do those things use in, in bricks? 60 each, and I just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 480, that's our entire our entire amount there. I'm sure someone will work on Wow, Jane is actually delivering those resources super fast, which is awesome. Dot's over here with a question mark. Oh, what is she doing? Putting out a fire? Okay, cooking a stew, something. I wonder if you can remove only certain floors, right? More floors, remove floor. I don't want to remove them all. I just want to remove the certain kinds. And I don't know of any way to really do that. Unfortunately. I would otherwise do it, but... Nisa, are you working on a harvest? Yes, here we go! That's what I- Whoa! Malaria again! The 492nd time I've gotten malaria! Malaria, Servicat, Tremaine, Alma, and Drigri. Wonderful! Luckily we have some, um, beds with absolutely no meds. Beds with no- Mental Break Fire Starting Spree all at the same time! Wonder- Oh, there's a- Look at that, guys! Bam! Lightning bolts. So Ellis is starting- Whoa, that's laggy. Ellis is starting a fire. Uh, and a bunch of- plus half our colonists now need to be able to treated for malaria. Wait, I thought we had walls here. Did someone break these down at some point? It looks like- I think they did. Must have been probably, uh, Alma. But, hey, we're taking care of this. Oh, malaria actually really needs to be- well, it is being treated pretty fast here, so that's good. I think. Yeah, everyone got treated super fast. 65, 58, 65, 59. I could just give all these guys psychoid tea. Do we have enough? Do we have any? Better question? Is that- yeah, we have 18 of it. You know what? Just to make sure, and so I don't screw this up, let's do it. Uh, operations. Administer Psychoid T on Alma. Drigri. Administer Psychoid T. Server Cat. Administer Psychoid T. Tremaine. Administer Psychoid T. Let's take care of it. I do feel like that T just needs to be nowhere near as powerful. Like 10, 15% would be great. 40% blood filtration. Ridiculous. And they all seem to be patched up now. Great. Absolutely great. Immunity 55, malaria 66, but you know what? It's a long-lasting disease. I'm sure we'll be, we'll be fine with it. Whew. Who's the one patient who's still waiting? Drigri? Oh, yeah, there we go. Nisa took care of it. What did I have in this room? With these, uh... You know what? I can't do it. I can't, I can't put in more... I want to put more floors in, but I really can't. There's other things to work on, like walls. I am doing this one up here, just because everyone's sleeping in there, but... Let's not do the things down here. Although I could remove the terrible floors in this room. Make it, because if a lot of people are going to be in here going on mental breaks and such, I really don't want to have to deal with that. So let's get all of these broken floors out. Wonderful, wonderful. It seems like most everything in here is pretty beaten up. Oh, someone was telling me that the lag might be due to the floors on the ground. Like having all of these floor tiles queued up. I wonder if that's the case, and if I finish these floors up here, if they'll get done really fast. What's the deal with my wood? I had a bunch, and now it's all gone, is what the deal is with that, so... Yeah, that does- it does- it seemed to be really laggy, and now it seems not to be that big of an issue. Maybe it's just related to the floors, then. Here comes our treatments again, 69, 66, seems like we're gonna be ahead of that, no problem. It's just a massive waste of time to have four people knocked out, but we'll be alright. I got 10,500 silver. I've never had so much, but also we haven't had a, a colony or a trader here since like episode 28. Not even sure what episode this is. Hey, some stuff is getting built in here. My wooden sculptor's table. I forgot all about this thing. Oh, wow. What happened to all my things? God King's throne. What does it take to make one of these again? Uh, let's slow it down so I don't actually start making it. It was 500 gold. How the heck? Somebody was selling one for 800 silver. And this gold is like 12 a piece. This is like a $15,000 throne to make, but like an $800,000 $800 throne to buy? That seems insane. 
Can I make it out of anything else? Nope, it's definitely just gold. All right, well, we'll cut that out for now. I don't care so much about the artwork. I don't think we really need to make any right now. Oh, we do have some baskets coming in. That's nice. Oh, hey, our blacksmith thing is over here. You know what we need to make here is hand tools. I forget how many we need, but I think it's two until we have X, and let's make sure the X is one. Or actually, just click it down like that way. Awesome. And that way we can always have one available to make all the various benches and whatnot. Here comes our first big rice harvest. We're not, like, right in the nick of time as we're completely and utterly out of food. God, that is getting done pretty fast, which is nice. How's the malaria? 73, 71. Looks like we're fine. Mental break days on Dot from disturbed sleep. Yeah, I know. I know that's an issue, Dot. It really is. I am feeling like I got a ton of trees, though. Let's take a look. This tree's at 97, 99, 100. All the rest of those that look pretty small. How about over here, though? 100%, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of trees that need to get harvested. I think they're going to happen after this. Although I'm curious what Ellis... Let's look at Ellis specifically. Her harvesting of crops seems to be on a four. And harvest which produce yields or produce also on a four. Doesn't seem to matter. Whatever. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what that really... Still haven't figured that one out. But we've got our some stews coming back out here. That's nice to see. We got some psychoid teas getting made up there still. Floors are ripped out. It looks better with a dirt floor than it looked before with uh, all the burnt floors, I suppose. Oh my lord! Guys, surprise! It's an infestation again. Bloody hell. All of these things have their resources delivered and are just waiting for Tremaine to get some time to get in there and work on that. What is he doing? Oh, that's right. He's not working on anything because he got malaria. And for once, he's actually sitting here recovering from this. Fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about... It. Wow, that's a lot of bugs. That's like more bugs than before. And I have way less guys than before to fight them. Uh, however, they're going to come out here and eat my hops. So you know what? Maybe it's time. Let's just make sure, Ellis, what's your issue? Anxiety extreme. Bagels is taken care of. Oh, look at that. You got your, you're totally tended to. You're good. You're good. Is everyone ready for a big fight-a-thon here? Let's check their weapons. Nisa has a bow. Osnog's got a, actually a really bad bow, if I remember correctly. Sh uh, it's shoddy 93%. That's kind of lame. Let's give her this superior thing out here. Uh, Alma, you are a melee character with a pretty bad melee thing, as far as I know. Let's give you this no vomiting. What? You can't pick this up because you're vomiting? Really? Alma, come on. This is like the, the, the town room here. Can I give you this superior battle axe? That looks way better than what you had. Doss not really going to fight with us. Constantine looks good. Tremaine, you got the stabby stabby of a lifetime. Biggles, good. Grigri, I, I skipped over Grigri. No, he's good. Server Cat's good. Jaheem's good. Jaina, good. All right. I think we're good here. Let's go murder these insects before it becomes an issue. Everybody up here, just like this. Wonderful. Who's my melee characters again? Uh, it looks like Alma. Let's put, put her over here in the left. Tremaine. And that's it. Okay, Alma and Tremaine. Let's grab the both of you. I think it's control numpad 2. Yes. The rest of you, including Drigri, control numpad 1. That's my firing squad over here. Let's get you guys kind of organized into a perfect, perfect firing squad. You guys over here from behind. Maybe over there then. Hurry up, guys. We got to get the show on the road. Gotta get the show on the road. All right, ready? And go! Um, okay, here's a problem. None of them are firing because of the friendly fire mod. Now they will. There we go. Much better. You guys come up here. Take these guys out. Okay, yeah, we're having some major issues with this, actually. What's going on? Oh, da whoa, Dot's getting attacked down here. Did she actually start a fight with one of these things? I don't know what's going on. Dot, what are you doing? You're gonna get ripped to shreds. The thing's cutting your neck off. Guys, go. Take out the centipede. Take it out. Okay, good. We took care of it. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, so like I was saying before, I have the friendly fire mod, so... It's gonna be actually kind of challenging to do stuff like that. They're not firing when they're gonna hit each other. They're trying to wait and buy time. Uh, but all things considered, let's do that. And then do numpad 2, which is my melee characters, and pull them back. Yeah, see how nobody's firing, which is pretty awesome, because Ulno is in the way? That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That is so... It just, like, slows them down. Come on, guys. Take them down. 
It's got like just like a literal firing squad. I know I can do like a, a much cl a closer um, formation, but Don, you're dead in nine hours. You just had your finger. No, you didn't have the finger destroyed. You're actually fine all around. All of you guys, take out these little rats, though. Okay, you're looking good. Ah, these things. Oh god, they're actually coming over here now. Get get our melee. <laughs> go go go! There's like a million of them. Take them down, guys. It's working. Look at that. Like these guys won't really shoot either because they don't want to like, they don't want to hit everybody. It's really awesome. Guys, take out more. Wow. Okay, get up here. And let's get ready to, to do the big one here. Yep. Here they come. Here they come. Get right on in there, guys. Take them out. Help out. Needs to get out there. Uh, Jaina, you're nowhere near. You can shoot over, though. I think they can I think they can do this. Yeah, just, like, find something you can shoot nearby. Oh, my, get in there and stabby, stabby. Okay, we're having some major bleeding issues here. Uh, guys, go. Go. Woo. One more. Look at that. Tremaine's using a thrumble horn to stab that. Okay, everybody off of alert. This was a bloodbath, kind of. Bite, bite, we're fine. Daunt, you got six hours. Tremaine, like four bites, but nothing major, nothing there. Biggles actually got pretty beaten up there. Drigri, you all right? Looks like you're resting. Can you actually wake up and come rescue Biggles really quick? Uh, Server Cat, yeah, lots of wounds. Shaheem, a bunch of wounds, but nobody lost any fingers or toes or anything. Lots of revenge. Caravan requests, they want 300 hops for a boar spear legendary, actually. That sounds pretty good. And I actually could do it, too, for once. Uh, let's get everyone down here, though, and tend to everyone, which is very important. Tremaine, can you come up here and tend to Dot before she dies? I think she's the only one in serious, serious, serious jeopardy. Everyone else is just kind of sitting here. Yeah, five hours on Dot. Tremaine, you're fine. Biggles, Server Cat, Shaheem, Jaina. Yeah, everyone's good other than this. Oh, God, Drieger, you couldn't even finish rescuing Biggles? Come on, you only had to go, like, five more inches there. Who else is my doctors? Nisa, can we have you come down here and tend as well? Olma, you're not a good tender. You have no eyes. Constantine, you can help out, though. Get down here, guys. Very important. Attend on up. Nisa, what are you doing? You're going to rest? Really? You couldn't have just taken care of everybody before you did that? Tremaine, you're going to rest, too? There's still so many people to tend to here, though. Plus, we also have the malaria that needs tending, that I completely forgot about, which may get us killed. Whoa, what's this? What's this? I don't know what that was or where that was. It sounded really close, but I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's see here. Ulm is at 86% with 85% immunity. This is actually pretty bad. Tremaine also has uh, issues right now. He really needs to take, like, a nap, but Biggles got so beaten up, she actually got, like, incapacitated. You know what? Biggles, as soon as you're done here, Tremaine, you need to go to bed. Like, this is bad, bad, bad stuff. Tremaine, just go to sleep. Yeah, there we go. Drigri immediately woke, woke up and took care of uh, Tremaine here. 83.80. We're actually a little bit behind. Let's do another Psychoid T, T on Tremaine. And who else has malaria? I think it was Alma. Yep. Okay, great. Let's do another Psychoid T. Tremaine, Dot, Severe, Whole Body. Who else was it? Biggles? Blood Loss? No. Drigri? Malaria Major? 87, 86. Yep, another Psychoid T. Surfer Cat? You're the last one. Psychoid T. Okay. What is going on now? Infections in Tremaine? Infections in Tremaine? Oh, God. This could not be good for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. Wow. Tremaine could die for who even knows what reason pretty soon. Drigri, you're like the worst healer in the town. Who is actually the best? Uh, Constantine is the best beyond Tremaine. Everyone else is pretty good. I mean, pretty bad. Constantine, can you please wake up and come over here and take care of this right now? Tremaine's gonna actually need some, like, serious treatment. His torso has gotten infected. We can't chop that off. And so has his right foot. We could chop that off if we absolutely had to. Probably should not have put Tremaine into this much harm's way when he's like literally the most important colonist in the whole thing here. Nice, we're treating the malaria. Disease infection now on server cat. We'll work on that. Great. 
I think Server Cat already has the Psychoid T. Yep, she does. Someone will, someone will get on it. Tremaine, please survive. Let's take a look. Malaria, 86, 82 immunity. Infection, 15, 8. Infection, 15, 8. <laughs> well, that's going to be dicey. R raccoon self-tamed. Thank you, Raccoon. To the animals, wherever you are, come into the home zone, Raccoon, and we will murder you for our own food. Just like it should be. Wow. Alright, Drigri's at 90% here with 89% immunity. Does he have Psychoid T? He has a build to have it administered, but where the heck is he? He's going to rest in the bed. Great. Now, someone should get on that pretty much immediately. Server Cat's actually incapacitated now. She also has the Malaria Extreme 91-91. This is pretty bad. Come on, guys. Get in here with all this stuff and tend to these things. Biggles is working on it. Ellis just applied the T to Drigri. Please, Biggles, keep, keep us alive. 92-92. Biggles, you're going too slow for me. Tremaine, come up here and tend to just kick Biggles out of the way. She's way too slow and too bad. Gotta make sure server cat. 18%. Okay. Well, 93-93 there. Drigri's at 92-91. We are pushing this malaria to the limit. Tremaine, will you even survive or is something gonna go to 0% and you die? I don't even know what or how, but let's see. Major, 37. Wow. How are you gonna survive this? It's going out of control. You don't have, you don't have the, ah, that's what the problem is. No one's giving you the tea. Who is working on it? Literally nobody. All right, someone's got to do this right now. I'm not sure who. Nisa, where are you? Administering Psychoid T. You're actually already doing it. Per perfect. Perfect. Server Cat, did you ever get yours? Yes, you did. 93, 94. Woo. Woo. And I know I was, I was like, oh my god, Psychoid T overpowered. But, you know, in most of the time it is. It's just in this instance because I'm literally sitting here in the darkness, like blood everywhere, like terrible room, infections all around. Like, this is... I mean, I should have been much better than this, to be entirely honest. Let's come in here with Jaina and just clean up a little bit before people go on mental breaks and get themselves killed. And by a little bit, I mean, like, a lot, because there's blood every freaking where. Yeah, let's keep going, keep going. Wow, she's actually doing a great job cleaning, but not enough. Let's keep cleaning. Clean it all up, the whole thing. Wow, she actually did the whole thing. All right, awesome. All right, Tremaine, please don't die. We need you. 9187 on the malaria. Who is the next best? Constantine. Get over here and... Oh. What the hell? No, Constantine. <laughs> tend to Tremaine. Wherever you are, tend to him right now. Do we have any herbal meds? The answer is... No. 90 per we could, though, however, get a few of them if I really super needed to, which I kind of do. Can I do just like a quick harvest of like six of them? Who is like my best grower in the entire... This is so micromanagey, but also so important. Growing. Best grower is Nisa. All right, Nisa, come on out, Peter, and prioritize harvesting this heal root really quick. Okay, great. You know what? Can you do a little bit more of that? I realize that Constantine is currently being treated down here uh, by... You know what, Constantine? Constantine, could you actually go on... There we go. You're still tending to Tremaine, but now you're going to go get the actual meds. 53.45. Torso, 59.45. That's not looking good. And also Malaria, 92.88. Ooh, Tremaine. Constantine, please get over here. Okay, also, while I'm thinking about it, Nisa, come on back here just for a few more minutes. You're eating rice. Interesting, because we have no food. Probably because Dot's sitting in there with, like, malaria or whatever. Not actually... Nope, Shaheem's cooking. Thank you, Shaheem! Keep with the whole colony afloat once again. All you. Anyway, back to what I was saying here. I need Nisa to prioritize this stuff. Then we have to haul this stuff urgently to get it in there. Because we don't have time to, to, to waste, like, at all. Server Cat actually needs a treatment right now. Infection 49. Yeah, we're working on that with Ellis. Great. Tremaine, please don't die. Please don't die. 9389. It's actually getting really close. Nisa, come back here. We need you to harvest more of this stuff. Just harvest it all. All of it. Okay, there. All of this stuff, all urgently. We'll have four meds down here. Hopefully, all of which will go to Tremaine. What do we got? Two hours and seven. Tremaine dying would be the worst thing in the universe right now. Everyone else is fine. Drigri, actually, you're not. You Whoa, Drigri's got 98, 99. Drigri, uh, someone needs to get on this. 
There we go. Okay, Shaheem, once again, saving the colony. Mental break compulsion on Nisa. Yeah, I know. I, that's because I forced her to do a lot of stuff. I know it's because she says she was outside, but no. Drigri barely 100%. No, he's got 99 malaria and 99% immunity. Drigri really hit the, the bucket there, like whatever the hell that means. I mean, if there was a bucket on the ground and he was walking and his, he would just trip and his head would fall into it kind of thing. Very bad. Infection 6078 on server cat. Awesome. Immunity from malaria. Drigri, please tell me you're immune from this malaria. Oh, thank God. You're good too. Ulma, I didn't even know you were over here, but you know what? You also developed the immunity. Immunity, rather. Ooh, and now it's just Tremaine. Tremaine, the man who has kept the colony afloat all this time. Please, Tremaine. 9592. This is not looking good. We're treating his anxiety with Biggles with a regular thing, which is probably okay. It's the infection that's extreme 5% there. 68, 68 here. This extreme infection in his torso, 79, 68. Holy mother of heavens. This bet is normal. This bet is good, normal, superior. Can we actually get Tremaine? Like, heal you up a little bit, Tremaine. Get over here. Can I actually... No, I can't even move you, to be honest. Uh, what's happening with my, my my fields here? I guess people are taking care of it. Thanks, Ellis, for another great like pyromaniac distraction. How long, though? Four hours, five hours, 96, 93, three hours. We may not succeed in this. Tremaine may actually die to malaria. Holy, what the heck is going on? Blood filtration, 118. Malaria extreme, psychoid T. This is bad, guys. Tremaine may not pull through. I, I know I've been neglecting the entire episode. I've just been sitting here focusing on Tremaine, but look at freaking Tremaine. He's so important. He's so important. Please, Tremaine, do not die. 96, 94. It's so close. Constantine, get ready. Get ready. Okay, Constantine's actually bringing some corn in here for Drigri. We're going to have to do, like, the tending of our lifetime. 88, 78. I'm not even sure how we're going to manage that. 97, 94. So close. Torso, 89s. I don't even know how we could beat this, to be honest. We got two hours. We got 1.6 hours, 97, 95. It's really close. One hour. Okay, Constantine, you're actually already in here feeding Biggles. Great. Okay, hold on. Drigri, stop. Constantine, get on alert. Get over here. Let's get ready. Tremaine, soon as you're ready. Uh, 0.3 hours, 0.2. Torso, 0.6. What is it actually at? 98, 95. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Great. Constantine, go. Come over here and tend to Tremaine with the best herbal meds in all the lands. Shaheem, no, don't do that. We're going to need that again for Constantine's torso in two seconds. I mean, Tremaine's torso. Go, Constantine. Do it again. Do it again. Tremaine, no. No. Fight it, Tremaine. 98, 96. This is ridiculous. Right foot, 80, 89. He's good on the right foot. How about the torso? We're at... Oh, he's dead. Whoops. I didn't even notice the freaking torsos, guys. The torsos. The torsos. Oh, my God. Really good tending there, too. But 99.90 remains dead from the torso. Would he have survived the malaria? We'll never know. 98.96. It would have been really close. But you know what? His torso, 100% infection. Fitter ye well, Tremaine. Best character in the universe is no more. Oh, boy, does that suck. Who's going to make my uh, thingies up here now? Oh, we never even finished this stuff. Mental break, fighter starting spree on Ellis. Wonderful. Psychite binge. Didn't, don't care. Who cares about hops in your stupid legendary bow? None of this matters to me. Who is my best constructor now, though? Um, best constructor now is either Osnog or Drigri. Drigri, what are you up to? You're sleeping. Can you actually wake up? And stand up? Um, no, not really. Osnog, you're doing kind of okay. I feel like Tremaine is so important. We should come in here and build him a thing. Let's grab all this stuff and turn that on. We gotta finish killing these bugs in a second here. Oh, if only I'd gotten those meds like a second sooner. Or given them like the tea. Or didn't go and fight. Or actually paid attention. Guys, really right there in the middle of the hallway. Come on, Osnog's gotta go places. She's gotta go places. Come on, Osnog. This is this is for Tremaine here. Wow, these things take a long time to build. Wow. That's a really, really long time. Sadism again, Alma, really? 
Oh my, that is it, guys. We're done with this. We are done with it. Get out here and freaking wreck Alma. No more nonsense. Take her down. These circles, by the way, are the friendly fighter mods showing you, like, something or other. I forget exactly what they're showing. Just take her down. Yep, okay, great. Whole colony off of alert. Freaking Alma! Enough of this! Anyone who tries to kill things is gonna get killed, period. It's the way that goes. Is someone taking care of this? Yeah, Server Cat looks like she's actually saving the animals first, and then, and then, and then Alma second. Alma was once the mayor of this town, keep in mind. And this is what has become of her. Uh, let's set this colonist to Tremaine. Yep, whoops. I don't even know who I just set it to because the, the list just changed there, like at the last second. Tremaine, you're in. Ooh, this is rough times. This is rough times. Someone come bury Tremaine, please. Jaina, you're probably working at a bettering human corpse. That's Tremaine. Poor Tremaine! Oh my lord, what a character. I should have stripped his gear off, but you know, it's it's his gear. He deserves to be buried in his own gear. Like, come on. Let's be serious now. Do we have any food in the whole colony? No. Dot, get up! Wait, do we have any rice in the whole colony? No. Do we have any, like, harvest, Dot? Get out there and harvest like the wind. Nice. Ellis is working on this harvest. Let's grab all of this stuff and haul it urgently so we can get at least some meals. Mental break, verbal abuse from Drigri. He witnessed, he witnessed Tremaine's death. Oh God, Drigri, what are you doing now? Who are you insulting and why? This co freaking colony is insane. The weird thing about it is that playing this game makes me understand how ridiculous human life was hundreds of years ago or even right now. Like this sort of stuff still takes place all over the world. It's like so many compounding basic issues. Dot, yeah. Dot's cooking to keep everyone alive here, and Drigan just bursts in and is like, Dot, you're fat and ugly! And she's like, Nyeh. Insulted times two, ate raw food, disturbed sleep. She's gonna go on a mental break, go kill an animal. <coughs> I can't even breathe anymore. <coughs> oh my lord. The point is that it's just never ending. We have a bug here that has apparently rotted. We took so long to do anything about it. Dot start. Like I said, Dot started a social fight with Drigri. Well, they're no longer social fighting. Did, did she actually punch Drigri out of his- Yeah, Dri yeah, okay. I think she punched him out of his face. That's actually just like Dot. She's taking no guff from nobody. She's the original town mayor. She ain't no Alma. She doesn't go around murdering animals whenever times get rough. She just punches people in the face when she doesn't like them. That's how you solve arguments. And then here we go, once again, Shaheem hauling dead hideous bugs that are rotting out of the out of the corpse pile. We could have used that, which we kind of needed to actually for the kibble for the winter, but... What are you gonna do? Apparently we have some raccoons, no idea who's killing those or where they're coming from. Honestly, I wanna- Oh! Did Tremaine get buried? He did! Let's have one moment of peace and quiet here, as we, we pay homage or whatever to Tremaine's legacy. Author, Jaina. Contents, Tremaine the Marshal. Thirsty unrest. Oh, it's poor? That's unfortunate. The sarcophagus bears an illustration of Tremaine flying into a destructive rage as others watch in horror. He is grimacing in misery. There is a community to the right of the main scene, and the unbalanced structure of the image almost conflicts with its post-impressionistic style. The portrayal relates to Tremaine throwing a tantrum on the 8th of April, May. 5505. Of all the things to remember for Tremaine for. Not like the time he saved the colony, or built the walls, or built the town, or like saved everyone with medicine, or like hauled people places, or like, I don't, I don't even know all the things he did. No, none of that. We're gonna remember the time he threw a tantrum. <laughs> Good job, Jaina. Good job on your first artwork. This town's definitely going somewhere. Cool thing though, uh, Moody's getting smaller and smaller. It's getting smaller and so I like how I went through 10 episodes where I just increased, 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 grew, 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 and then now it's like the total opposite. Every episode. People are just dying, like, left and right. Uh... Um... Alright, well... Growing is really a major concern here. I may have to actually... Cut cleaning off of Alma. Yeah, let's get cleaning off of her on a two. Let's put it on a three so she does growing and harvest... Well, you know what? She's only doing sewing now that I think about it. Still, we're gonna leave her on a two. Because she doesn't have any eyes. Right, I took her off of that because she was eyeless. Right, right, right. Forgot all about it. 
Forgot all about it. Where's my rice here? We don't have very much of it. We have actually have like basically none. Oh, someone was telling me to make only five wart at a time. And I will indeed do that. So let's do until you have X. The X we're going to make five. You make a batch of five. Uh, we'll just drop it on the floor like immediately. We'll never pause when satisfied because it's basically just like a one-time thing. Ingredient radius is fine. And let's hit go. That way every single craft gets immediately put in a barrel and that's the end of that. There's no like extra sitting around rotting. Okay, we're just just close this item stash. Wait, you know what? I kind of want to see where it is. Whoa, item stash opportunity. Jade, uranium, plastic, limestone. Nah, th I thought that was something else. Delete it. Tremay. Oh, that's right. He crafted everyone's clothing in the entire. He was the crafter. Oh, who's gonna be the new crafter? Nisa could do it. She's got a five with a minor passion. Drigri's got a five with a minor passion. Ellis, she was kind of like the artist. Well, I guess actually no. Her crafting is pretty high. She's the new crafter then. Which means we need to make sure her hauling is super low. Load caravan should be number one, sure. Uh, fill fermenting barrel, she doesn't need to do that. Other people can do it. Basically, crafting and tailoring come before everything, so she's always, always, always doing that, except for when there's growing to be done, which is very important. Okay, so Ellis is the new crafter. Uh, hopefully she'll get on... Oh, here she is growing right now. The only person who's crafting is also the only person doing any growing, which is very... Oh, thank you, silhouettes. Thank you very much. That's actually really awesome, because Silhouette's going to rest restock the stockpile, and Dot's going to make a ton of food out of it. Which is just what we want. Although she is running over there to grab it, because it, I guess it's going there instead of here, but whatever. Whatever. Lots of harvesting to do pretty soon. We got all the hops at 100, all the heal root at 100. We're working on... Uh, Ellis is coming in here to, to like, respect Tremaine. She seems pretty happy about that for some reason. How many bugs are still on the map? I don't like these bugs. I don't like them one bit. Uh, three mega spiders. That's it. Three mega spiders. Can we take those guys out? Probably. A few people are sleepy and tired, though. It's also the happy fun time. Let's do it in the morning when everybody's awake and, and more prepared for this. But I got my insect meat thing set up there. What I do not have is make kibble. Do we want to make it in the butcher thing or the stone oven? Which one does it make more sense to make it at? Probably it's usually more dirty in here. I guess it doesn't make any difference because the animals eat it. Um, so the kibble, we want to probably make another add bill make kibble here. Great. This one will move up. We'll do this uh, forever. And this is going to be not any kind of meat except for insect meat. Great, we'll put that up before everything. Awesome. Now, I don't actually know where the, the insect meat is, but luckily our ingredient radius is pretty much infinite, so if anyone can cook, then they'll go do that. Four o'clock in the morning, we still have Ellis to sleep, Shaheem, Jaina, Osnog. Oh, Ibex Doe self-tamed. Thank you very much, Ibex Doe. Thank you very much. Come on in, and we some murder you and eat you. Good thinking. Good thinking. It's kind of kind of rude. Oh, Drigri's actually getting to work on uh, future Saka. Planning ahead, are you, Drigri? <laughs> oh my lord, that was scary. Giant bug just walked right over and like took a nap on Drigri's legs or whatever. Uh, we got server cats in here milking a cow. Ellis is out here chopping wood, which is very important. We do actually need a lot of wood. Like a lot, lot of wood. Like thousands and thousands. I could go on like a quick caravan outside and chop 10 million wood. But frankly, I'm feeling like we just got a lot of harvesting to do here as well. I, d I do now realize that Driggy's going to spend all this time constructing when he should probably be doing... Oh, bulk goods trader here. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go trade with them. You notice how the lag is completely gone? That super lag I started the episode with? Completely gone. And all I really did was, like, remove ten floors. Uh, these floors are still here, and it's still laggy, so I don't know. I mean, still not laggy. Or not laggy anymore. That's 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 the words I should be using. All right, let's go. Whoa, Mental Break Sad Wanderer. Well, at least they're reducing in frequency. They have rats? Really? You guys have rats? You got rats and cats. And apparently a pig and a bull. I already have a bull, and I have two female cows, so I'm fine with this. Eighth of Drugus, we're halfway... Dried agave? I've never even seen that before. Interesting. Simple meal. 
Uh, yeah, that's not really that great. What can we sell these guys, though? We have 200 batteries? That doesn't seem right. Where did we get the... Oh, that does seem right, because we have the strawberry patch I forgot about. We only have 100 alpaca wool. No, we have 300 down here. Let's, um... It's actually going to leave that alone. Let's sell all of these leathers, though. We'll keep the mufalo ones, as always, because we'll make stuff out of that polar bear skin. Interesting. These guys have $1,500. Let's sell them. Not our psychoid tea. We definitely need that. Need all this stuff. Need all our bricks and blocks and whatnot. Uh, this stuff, though, fodder's just axe, hand sickle. I don't even know. I think we're just going to sell longbow shoddy. Warhammer superior. That just looks so cool. Recurve bow normal. You know what? Let's sell a whole bunch of this stuff because I feel like we have too many. Too many things, and I want to clear out our inventory anyway. So sell it up. Masterwork recurved bow. Nah, I think we'll keep that one. I don't know why someone's not using that. 2% beaver skin tunic. Yeah, that's that's great. All this awful stuff that's pretty much like beaten up and destroyed. We don't care about that. Look at all this. Apparently we've gone through all of our wooden stuff. And it's all destroyed and probably nobody has any armor anymore. It's all like shoddy and terrible. Wow. Okay. Get rid of all of it then. Wow. There was a lot of this stuff. We need, this is making me realize we need a lot of armor and whatnot. My plan was to upgrade to steel armor. Of course, my plan was also not to have 9,000 people die, but. Hornet Digger, who the heck is that? Oh, that's my prisoner. All right. Yeah, I forgot I even have a prisoner. All right, that's it. Except, voila, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm happy with the results here. Wait a minute, do they have any wood? No, because wood, wood takes, they cost a lot of money and you just chop it. It's not really worth it. Jaina is concerned about the ugly environment. I thought we took care of most of that, but now that I look at it, it doesn't look like it's getting done. Cleaning zone a two. And why is it not getting done then? We have a two and a two. Jaina's working on construction, probably, on placing frames. Let's turn that down a little bit. So she actually does the hauling first, or the cleaning first, rather. All right, we got 10 simple meals. Oh, wait a minute. I've been playing for 51 minutes. Um, you know what? I'll just do a long episode today. So, an hour. Like an hour and like one minute or whatever. Now we're back to that super skippy lag thing. What the? Why? I don't get it. Okay, Dawn and Alma. Nice! We're getting some meds for the first time in forever. We've got so much stuff to catch up on. We gotta harvest all this stuff, haul all that stuff, harvest these trees, haul that, harvest this, haul that, all this, resow all those fields, harvest all of this. Uh, we've got to... These actually mostly got built, but not entirely. It looks like Drigory actually stopped there at the end. If I remember correctly, the, the mod will do that. Like, only the best constructor will be allowed to finish it, but anyone can work it up to that point. I hate her self-tame. Why do I keep getting these things? I feel like the game thinks I'm an idiot and, need, and I need all these animals to help myself out or something. Like, I can't control my colonists, so maybe the animals will do it for me. I'm not sure where they're really going with that, but... Whoa! What are you? Come on, guys! What? What do you? What, who, are you guys going on fire starting sprees in my base? Really? Don't you realize how rude that is? Like it's extremely, extremely. You're even lighting your own mufalos on fire. Come on! Stop wasting my time here. At least you could do is put your own fires out. Nope. Look, it's actually their town leader too. Oh my God! He's lighting all my things on fire. All my corn. Oh my lord, they just lost a Mufalo and dropped all kinds of stuff on the ground, including Neutroamine. Holy- okay, guys, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. There's some issues here. I cannot have my corn be toppled by these freaking maniac, like, burninators. God, I've never seen someone burn so many things. Oh no! Not the Neutroamine, server cat. No, forget the Mufalo. Go- oh, the 112 Neutroamine burnt to death. I wanted that stuff. It's just, if nothing else, I could have sold it back to them for a million dollars. Oh, my corn! <sighs> well, there goes my winter harvest. Wow. Also, there's even stuff out there. I cannot believe. And they just left. They just freaking left. They just lit my corn on fire and freaking skedaddled. You have got to be kidding me. That is so rude. I can't even believe that. And I didn't catch it soon enough. I did get, pick up a I think this is the stuff I sold. Yeah, and, I, and I'm and i saddled with the stuff I just sold them. Like all my trashy boots and crossbows. 
Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This Mufalo, I don't even want to... Oh, my corn. My corn. That blaze, though. What a waste of time. Um, do I need to make the home zone, like, the whole freaking map so I can put this out and then it's gonna rain, right? Probably at the exact same moment that it, I finally get that all done. Alright, we finally got the blaze under control. Everyone worked, like, straight through the night, super exhausted, like, whole day of productivity lost, whole season of, uh, corn lost. This is not gonna be good. This Mufalo, for whatever reason, I can't. Male Mufalo of Tershobam. All right, interesting. It's there, Mufalo. I could save it, but then what is it? What happens to it? I don't. I don't know. It's gonna die, and then I can just eat it, eat all the meat. So let's just let that happen, and not worry about it. We. They also picked up my polar bear skin that I sold them is apparently still here. Yeah. I, all I basically got out of that was a literal massive pile of trash that I had sold them already. So, wonderful, wonderful. That neutromine, though, 112 neutromine would have been fantastic. That stuff's worth like $12 a piece. That's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, not that much. Not that it matters, because I have 12,000. I'm not even using it for... Maybe I should use a signal flare to have some people come in here and supply me with something, but I don't know what... <gasps> Speaking of what, I have some old art here I never even looked at. I can put in Ellis' room to keep her from going on a mental break. Interesting. What is Adobe Decorative Urn Pour? How about this one? Normal Beauty 22. Made by Elias. We can remember Elias in our own little way. A small piece of decorative pottery. And this work is an illustration of Drigri staring off into the distance without speaking a word. He has a blank look on his face. Sounds like Drigri. <laughs> a personified depiction of Cataclysm sits in the background, while the work has a cubist feeling and a well balanced structure. I don't know what the hell they're talking about with these artworks, to be honest, most of the time. Let's install this, though, in Ellis' room. Um, you know what? We'll put it, like, right... Uh, let's actually get rid of these things since we can't make them anyway. And then let's go grab that decorative urn and install it right next door to bed. Awesome. What else do we have over here? We got some nice rugs. Beauty 50! Wow, Elias, you left us all sorts of awesome things. Mental break days on Osnog, Hungary. Whoa, we what happened to our food? Right, we were like busy throughout the whole night there, doing a lot of stuff is what happened. Oh my lord, mental break, apathy. Now we're back on like mental breakathon, 2K 5505, I guess. Slept in the heat? What heat? It's only 80 degrees. It's only 80 degrees. Get over it. So much corn. Mental break apathy. <laughs> Disturb sleep. Uh. If only I had more people right now to harvest all this stuff and get all these woods in here. We could rebuild this base so... I thought, honestly, when I... Like, one or two or three episodes ago, whenever I started the base rebuild, I honestly thought I'd have the whole base put back together in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> and here I am, literally hours of my life later. No such luck. All right, let's grab all this rice up there and make sure it's always on haul priority. 300 rice, tons of meals. Great, this will take care of a lot. Jane is working on cleaning up the town again. Fantastic. Keep those mental breaks at bay. Until I get all the floors put in, though, mental breaks are pretty much always going to be an issue. In fact, no one, everyone's technically sleeping outside still because we don't even have walls put in because we're super short on wood. And I can't really micro where the wood's going unless I m grab someone and have them go cut a piece of wood like, like this or whatever. You know what? Maybe I should just do like a huge chop and then we just haul everything in and get it. Just get the pain over with, right? Just suffer through it. Or I don't do that and I just let everyone do what they're doing. Like we're doing important stuff here. We're harvesting stuff. Wait, let's get off of that. Alma is carrying weak stews around. Ellis is out here. I mean, things are getting done. Very important stuff. Rice is getting harvested. I just let the game run a little bit.
All right, here we go. Server cat's been out here all the live long night chopping up wood. I've got Dot here actually finishing the walls because everyone's technically sleeping outside again still uh, because they're all in these like random little things. So when Dot comes in here, we'll take care of that. Maybe I can do some priorities on the floors as well. Great, good job, Dot. Or Drigri, rather, get back. Wait, no, actually, Constantine's doing that one. Let's get Constantine working on this. Dot, if all possible, could you maybe, like... Nope, can't do that. I think we ran out of wood or whatever. It was all brought to random places. And we already ran out that fast. Wow. That was super... Who's, who's getting this wood? Constantine. Hauling wood to the door. Okay, very important. Yep, definitely do that. If we can get that door put in. Mental Break Compulsion on Ellis. Slept in the heat. All right, it's not... It's 68 degrees out, so I don't really understand why everyone's sleeping in the heat so much. But, you know... Whatever. There's the door. Actually, no, construction failed, believe it or not. And we put in a bunch of floors, and there goes all our wood. I really, really, really want some wood, but at the same time, if I set everyone to do it, they're going to not re-sow all these fields, which we may actually get another harvest out of if I'm patient with this. I miss the days when I had 17 people doing this. We only have, like, three. It seems like at the most right now. And also, I have two people cleaning, like, non-stop, but it's not enough. Here's an idea. Let's come to zone orders, clear the allowed area, animal area one. Let's not let them walk in the streets. Uh, because that's probably a massive amount of dirt that they're just tracking into places we don't want them to really be anyway. So, let's let them out of there, out of the walls. Great, let's get out of here as well. Why are you guys even allowed over? That's just a weird place. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. Fine. You can go inside, but just, just stay off the streets. Just stay off the streets, unless you absolutely have to be on them to go eat something. That'll that'll just make it so much easier to keep everything clean. All right, you guys get out of there. Uh, get out of all that place is great. Get out of here. There, that is much better. Should have done that a hundred years ago. Oh, I forgot about this. Let's get rid of that. Several people have mentioned this, and I literally just forgot about it. Let's, uh, I, I don't want to allow the animals to eat out there, because right, it's really alpacas and cows aren't going to eat anyway. And the dogs, I don't want to let them out there, because I guarantee you they're going to go and get themselves killed somehow. This, it's just, it's just going to happen. It's happening to me in every game I've ever done. I just don't want it to happen, so let's leave it alone. And otherwise, we're looking good. All right, all I really want to do is put in these last two walls, but that's going to require wood. I'll, let's take a look at how the harvest is coming along. All this rice is 100%. All of this rice is 100%. All of this hay grass, 100%. All of this heal root, 100%. Uh, Psychoids, 76. Solar flare, get rid of you. Uh, heal root out here, 95. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to haul. How about this corn? 89, 90%. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. I know I need to get, get start working on the jerked meats, too, but at least I have a few more hours here, or a few more days until the winter starts setting in. Ooh, I can hear floors going in. Drigri failed while constructing our sarcophagus. Really, Drigri? Oh, we actually got all the other ones made, though. That's pretty cool. You know what I could do is move everyone in here instead of having them out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many have I built? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not even enough. <laughs> Not even enough. Oh, and I'm completely out of marble blocks, too. We can't even finish up that last one. What? That's just a massive waste of hauling, though. We could probably do that later. Server Cat, what are you up to? Chopping trees? Planting trees, apparently. All right, now you're going to sow other areas. Boy, we really, 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 really... Ooh, how about, how's my strawberries doing? 70, 60% grown. Yeah, I don't know. This is gonna... I just have... Like, once again, I'm like right back to 20 episodes ago. Hey, a group of travelers are passing by for, for whatever reason. There we go, a server cat. Har harvest and replant like the winds. Like, though, keep the colony going, Server Cat. Just like Season 2 of XCOM, colony will prevail thanks to you. Server Cat started a social fight with Dot. Uh, <laughs> just what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, oh my lord, who won the fight, though? 
So don't forget, let's find out. Wow. Uh, don't mess with Dot. Don't mess. That's like 50,000 wounds right there. Are we going to use herbal meds to patch these up? Actually, we're using herbal... Drigri, whatever happened to you? I guess you just have you just had some uh, anxiety you needed to tend to. We are using herbal meds on these, but we're tending three at a time. I guess it's sort of okay because it gets them back into the action a little bit faster, even though it's completely un... <gasps> New recruit! Nisa successfully recruited Hornet! Hornet, welcome to the colony, you 74-year-old male. Who's a 74-year-old male from my list of characters here? Uh, according to this, it's looking like... Oh, I know who exactly is a 74-year-old male. The Felts. Not so much. I don't know why the 74-year-old, but... He's a hard worker, a brawler, and a green thumb. <gasps> Can we give you the thrombo horn? What happened to it? What happened to, like, um... Did I actually bury it with Tremaine? No, because they dropped their weapons. Someone else... No, here it is. I see it right there. All right, uh, Felt, let's give you that thrombo horn as your primary weapon. Fantastic. Welcome to the colony, the Felt. Also, what's your character all about here? Melee social cooking, construction, you could do growing, you like the mining, the craft, nice, a nice, a, new, a good crafter who's a hard worker. Also a green thumb, so we can have him on growing. He can do basically every, he's like the new Tremaine! We lost one Tremaine with skill and recruited another one who's probably going to die of old age soon. Speaking of old age, how's his health? Oh, he's got a frail torso, bunch of stab and bite scars and who knows what else. Anyways, that's enough for this episode. Let's be returning, hopefully I can get the harvest going. Get through it, get the trees, get the wood, and build the base, get some warmth going for all these things during the winter time, get the floors put in, and then uh, harvest a bunch of meat and makes a bunch of jerked meats, and then... I don't think any of this is going to happen. I don't think, this is going to be a raid, and we're going to get wrecked properly, so it really happens. But Anyways, magic returning. Lots of stuff will happen. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. That's like so many compounding basic issues. Dot, yeah, Dot's cooking to keep everyone alive here. And Dregan is bursting and is like, Dot, you're fat and ugly. And she's like, Nyeh. insulted times two, ate raw food, disturbed sleep. She's gonna go on a mental break, go kill an animal. <laughs> I can't even breathe anymore.